Folks in McGregor love their high school softball and baseball. Numbers games, really, because the team with the biggest numbers at the end wins. You might call McGregor a winner in the population game as it hits a home run on growth and change with people moving here almost every day. I grew up here, so I've been here all my life. You've seen a lot of change there. Uh, yeah, absolutely, it's growing. So it was a small town before and now it's quite bigger, so yes. It's a big small town. Yes, <laughs> for sure. But Brandy Chandler says this big small town seems stuck in the batter's cage when it comes to housing. Few people counted on so many folks moving here all at once, leaving the town with a limited supply of housing and high demand. Like a pop fly or maybe a SpaceX rocket, property values headed for the sky or even farther. And individual properties will range anywhere from, some will actually uh, will go down. Uh, I know there's some river riverfront properties that'll be decreasing in value. Um, and some may actually get a 40% increase. Um, 40%? Yes, sir. That's right. Some folks in McGregor will see their property appraisals go up by almost half. And even though governments often lower their taxes when values go up, a 40% jump usually suggests you better start saving up. What would that do to your budget? It would blow it. <laughs> With the bases loaded, the McLennan County Appraisal District needed to hit its appraisals out of the park. According to our data, we are at 98%, 100% of market. And so we usually we try to be just, just under market, so give people a little bit of a break, but not, not crazy. But in an audit, the state of Texas found when it comes to property appraisals in the McGregor School District, appraisers took a swing and a miss. Normally, the state comes in and matches, or, or pretty close. Uh, but this time, the state came in, and they had three times as many sales as we did, and they had the higher sales, whereas we had the lower sales. So in McGregor, we're having to play catch up, and they're going to come back in at the end of this year and re-audit us. This sounds like a problem that was exacerbated by your lack of access to the MLS. Yes, sir. A tiff with realtors a while back left the appraisal district without access to the so-called multiple listing service, a record kept by realtors of asking prices and sales figures. After flying blind a while, depending on numbers supplied by people disputing their appraisals, the district recently regained access to the sales records through a state contract. Property assessments are important because it's the number upon which local governments like school districts, base our property taxes. If appraisals come in too low, the schools get shortchanged. And administrators say that has a domino effect. It goes to pay for everything from facilities to, you know, just the events, the, um, the UIL events and, you know, busing. And uh, most importantly, it goes for teacher salary and staff. And you can add police, firefighters, and even public works to that list because they all depend, at least in part, on property taxes. Brandy Chandler says good timing made her house a catch. Honestly, we got lucky. Before this increase came about, we got lucky and we bought a house before it just... I, I feel sorry for people that are shopping in McGregor right now for a home because it's just, it's crazy to see the home values. Are you afraid that in the future the taxes may get to the point where you can't afford the taxes? Absolutely. 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 What, what do yeah. you, how do you plan for that? Well, you don't. And where do you go after that? Where do you go? Where indeed. Since this big change supposedly catches McGregor up on property values, folks here hope they can catch some breathing room before the ump calls another out. In McGregor, Dennis Turner, 25 News.